everybody this is city readings and hi aries this is going to be a love message reading for you guys i'm going to have a look at your person i'm going to have a look at your energy and see what's up so if there is anyone you're inquiring about put this person on your mind when you're watching the reading and let's have a look at what messages are going to show up for you also there is going to be a link in the description box to the extended for december in which I'm going to talk more about your person, you, um, where is it going, your blessings, your challenges. Let me, let me actually, oops, sorry, let me actually move my chair. So yeah, I'm going to talk about your blessings, your challenges, your person's energy towards you, what's going to happen next, all of that. So do have a look, it's going to be linked below, but let's see. So if there's somebody that's on your mind, what's their energy? I was careless with you. So Aries, this person realizes that they were careless with you, that they didn't treat you right, and I feel heartbroken. I feel like this is somebody who's trying to um, maybe even get over you because I'm getting a vibe here that this person, Aries, they're realizing that they were careless with you and it's like this person feels that they shouldn't have done what they did to you, okay? They feel sad over you guys not communicating with one another. What is Aries energy like? What energy is Aries in? Let's see, Aries, what is your energy? I regret what I said to you. <laughs> I know I made a mistake. Oh, no. I feel like Aries is just looking like you feel like this person. You could be trying to move on from this person. You have, you're not a part of my plan. So it does look like Aries, you're not really prioritizing the situation or this person anymore. There may be something you said to this person or you did that you don't also like. Some of you feel like this person made you react in a way that you don't normally react or something like that. It's, it's like one of those energies where... Uh, you know, you could be feeling like this person sometimes bring the worst side out of you. Um, okay. I ran away from myself, not you. So, yeah, one problem that I am seeing here with this person is that Aries, this is somebody who doesn't express their emotions too much. Or you may feel like it's hard to really know what this person's up to or because they're not very expressive. I feel like what bothered you the most about this person was that they were not being expressive like you are. And eventually you started to not prioritize the connection anymore. It does look like something became a burden. Okay. But I do feel like this person's really sad and they're realizing their mistake. It's like you, some of you also feel bad about how things ended or you feel like things could have, things could have been different between you and this person. Some of you feel that way. Okay. So we have the moon. Yes. This person doesn't know what to do. It does look like this person's in their feelings, but they're not revealing too much. Um, Ace of Cups. This person could be a Virgo, a Cancer, or a Pisces, maybe even a Scorpio. Yeah, it does look like there's resistance in their energy, uh, Hierophant to the Seven of Wands. So Aries, I'm getting here that there is resistance in this person's energy, but with the Hermit and the Ace of Cups, I feel like this person still has a lot to say to you. But they don't know how that is going to be taken on your end. Like for some of you, this person feels like they're going to get rejected by you with the Queen of Swords energy. Give me one more card for that Ace of Cups. King of Pentacles. 
I'm hearing I'll sleep on it. I'll sleep on it. So I, I just feel like Aries, you're leaving the situation alone. You're focusing on your money, goals, your business. Some of you do want for this person to come to you and own up to what they did. Um, I feel like this person truly wonders about you. I'm not getting a vibe here from this person that, you know, they don't care. On your side, you're getting the Tower, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Yeah, you're not interested. You're not interested whatsoever. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Two of Cups. Now, you cannot tell me that you have not loved this person with all your heart. It looks like you gave in your all to the connection here, okay? But... I feel like for a lot of you, this person made you happy, but you also recognize that maybe with that devil energy, there was some sort of a toxic pattern here. Um, some of you maybe regret over prioritizing this person. To me, it looks like you gave in more than this person did, and that made you a little bit resentful towards them. To be honest, you guys, I feel like both of you still have love for one another. And with the Queen and the King of Pentacles showing up in the same reading, I do feel like there's a chance of reconciliation because it just looks like they're, they're not willing to give up on you. For you, I feel like you could be convincing yourself that this is done and you're turning your back, focusing on your money. And when it comes to love, I really don't feel like... I don't feel like Aries, you're interested in love right now. You know, look at this. I know I made a mistake and the two of cups energy. Now, if you don't know, the two of cups energy is always mutual. Okay. It comes like, it's not, it's not one of those cards that represent unrequited love, like something just happening on one side. So it's, it's definitely like both of you have love for one another, but it became toxic and eventually like there's something that happened that made you question maybe even this person's loyalty towards you. Okay. Give me one more card here for this person, please. Two of Pentacles. And the Queen of Wands. They find you very attractive. Yeah, you have the justice. So this is somebody, I feel like Aries, this person is definitely going to try to make amends with you. I'm telling you, this is somebody here who may be temporarily confused. But that's not the energy that they're carrying forward. They, they pretty much think about you a lot. For some of you, this person could reach out in two weeks or something like that. I do feel like you guys are going through this whirlwind of emotions. Like it, it just looks like a situation that has its own ups and downs. And instead of trying to fix it, you're turning your back to it. Because again, Aries, you feel like you already did what you could do for the situation or in this situation, really, you know? Hmm. So let's see what love messages want to show up for you. Your 2024 predictions will also be linked in the description box. Aries, do have a look at it if you're interested. I like you. Romance, blooming, fun, flirting, wanting to date. So this person still likes you, Aries. It's like your energy is very different from the people that they've dated. They find you very attractive, yes. So this is somebody who finds you attractive. This is somebody who's not really wanting to let go of you, okay? They want to see you and make love. Don't worry, it will be okay. I'm telling you, it's just a matter of time. I definitely see reconciliation on the table. And I'm also not say, seeing any ill intention here, okay? So if this, is some, if this is a reading for you, then just know that I feel like this person needs their time and they're definitely going to show up, try to fix things with you. Uh, but if you if you dealt with somebody who was super like toxic and stuff, um, that's your choice. You're going to wait or leave. But to me, it looks like um, 
there's definitely a chance of reconciliation here between you and this person. Let's actually get a little bit of your energy. Looking at your social media and missing you and the love call. I feel this is in the reverse. So some of you maybe initially when you guys went no contact, you were looking at their social media, but now you have stopped. I do feel like in the back of your mind, Aries, you do want this person to own up to what they did and make things right with you, but you're just tired and you don't want to be the one who is initiating this. You know, like, I feel like if they if they text you or call you, you may respond to them because I, I really don't feel like this person, like you're going to reject them right off the bat. Um... Because I see love on your end too. It's just like, you know, when we have given so much to somebody that we're just so tired of giving any more into the situation. That's where your energy is. So that's about it, Aries. Those were the messages that showed up for you. I hope that this reading helped you. Leave a like, subscribe, have a look at the extended as well as your 2024 predictions in the description box below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.